Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really spectacular name. At least I think it's pretty spectacular. Anyway, boys and girls, I've got a story for you tonight, but first I have to ask a few questions. Did you take your baths or showers? Are you fresh and clean? All body, all spiffy and all gleaming and glistening and smelling all good. You got your PJs on. I got my PJs on. And your cuddle buddies available. Also, did you brush your teeth? Are your teeth all shiny, pearly, white, breath all fresh and refreshing? Have you said your prayers yet? If you haven't said your prayers, make sure you do it before you go to sleep. Boys and girls, I got a twofer for you tonight because the stories are also they're from series they're from stories that I've read um, in past um, stories um, a while back, but I've I've run across these books, so I'm going to go ahead and share them. Um, not in any particular order, but I think I'm gonna do uh, the Mother Goose book. It's a sugar and spice book. It's a tisket a tasket. When I did these books, I had three like this, and I read them all in one whop. And then I came across this book, and this is a fourth one. But when I checked, I did not already have Tisket a Tasket. So I'm going to go ahead and read it, followed by uh, Little Tiger Picks Up. And I'll show that to you in just a moment. So let's get started. A Tisket a Tasket, a green and yellow basket. Also, I had to do a little bit of recovery to this book. Someone had been drawing in it with either a pencil or a marker, and I was able to get it off. I wrote a letter to my love, but on the way I dropped it. Okay. Aww. I dropped it, I dropped it, and on the way I dropped it. Ooh, what are you gonna do if you drop the letter? Shouldn't you pick it up? You gotta know that you dropped it though. A little boy picked it up and put it in his pocket. His pocket, his pocket, he put it in his pocket. I probably should have sang a tune of this. I think I know it. He found my letter, picked it up, and put it in his pocket. Okay. Okay. Before I go on, let me see if I remember the tune. How does it go? A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. I wrote a letter to my love, but on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it, and on the way I dropped it. A little boy picked it up and put it in his pocket. His pocket, his pocket, he put it in his pocket. He found my letter, picked it up, and put it in his pocket. I don't know, I'm kind of off on a tune, maybe. I didn't even know that was the words for it. So, hey, go ahead, Mother Goose, you got me with that one. Anyway, I, I had three others like this and this one I just came across yesterday and then this book here uh, written by um, Michael Dahl illustrated by uh, Oriole Vidal it's a hello genius book little tiger picks up uh, the other one I think was about uh, the dragon maybe not being so loud like using his indoor voice and then I came across this one, so I grabbed it too. See? Hello, genius. So you guys are being graced with a couple of books. Little Tiger Picks Up. All right. Oh, my. What a mess, Little Tiger. Hey, hey, how many of y'all rooms look like this? Now, look at this. Look at this. Man, oh man. Roar! 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 
What's little tiger roaring about, huh? Playtime is over. It's time to pick up. And that's what you guys have to remember. After you play right absolutely at that moment when you're done playing, put things away. Pick up. Clean up. Pick up. Put it away. Clean up every day. Thank you, Daniel Tiger, for that one. Pick up your toys, little tiger. This might not be Daniel Tiger, but it is a little tiger here, so you guys can see the words. This is a simple read. That's why I did two books tonight. Pick up your games, little tiger. Clean up, pick up, put it away. Clean up every day. Them songs be coming in handy. Pick up your books, little tiger. And treat your books nice, boys and girls. Don't tear them up. Don't write in your books. Don't tear up the pages. Come on now. Everything is picked up, says Little Tiger. Oh, Little Tiger did a good job of cleaning up. Look at that. The way he did it, it's like he didn't even play at all. That's that. You know you're good at cleaning up. If when you're done cleaning up, it looks like you were never there in the first place. That's some real good cleaning up. Good job, little tiger. Good job, little tiger. Good job, little tiger. Now it is time to pick you up. And mother tiger picks up little tiger. Yay, that's awesome. Roar, 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 roar. All right. And that's the end of that story. It's a simple lesson that's useful to learn as easy as possible. It's a bright, zany style that keeps the at kid level and that's what it does real simple remembering to clean up guys remembering to clean up hopefully i've run across some more of these books because i like them because they they do a um, sheer lesson anyway boys and girls that was awesome you got a two for today you got two stories and things to think about um Hopefully you guys are going to sleep in a clean room tonight. Um, if not, if it's not too late, pick up a little bit so when you wake up in the morning, you can get a fresh start for a brand new day. And before you start that brand new day, you've got to go to sleep, right? So let's get ready to dream those special dreams, huh? So don't forget, you close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Because remember, you are in charge of your dreams. And allow yourself to drift off to sleep. That means you have to be still, relax your body, no wiggles and jiggles, quiet your voices, because you can have that whisper, because you're telling yourself your story and you're actually putting yourself to sleep and allowing yourself to dream that special dream. It's all up to you, okay? Well, boys and girls, have a good night. I'll see you next time. Bye.